Hey guys, what's up? It's Paige, and today I am so excited to do this DIY for you guys. I am doing a studded iPhone silicone case, and I am so excited to show you guys how to do this. I know a lot of other people have videos on how to do this, but I got requested it a few times, so I thought I'd just show you guys how I personally do it. I know everybody kind of has their own, like, way of doing it, so I'll just show you guys, like, the way that I like to do it, and yeah, so if you guys think that this video is, like, copied or anything, it's not. Um, I've seen a ton of people do it, but I was actually requested a lot for my my personal channel to do it so I'm really excited that you guys want to see that so if you guys want to see any other kind of DIYs uh, let me know because I know a ton I'm obsessed with DIY DIY is my favorite thing ever it's so easy to just kind of customize your own thing and put your own spin on things so um, I really hope you guys like this video and just keep watching to figure out how I made my silicone iPhone studded case Woo! that's a lot of words you will need a silicone case studs Something sharp to poke into the silicone, preferably a safety pin. And then you're just going to poke the safety pin into the silicone case, just creating some holes that these studs can get pressed into. Some of the studs might even be sharp enough to the point where you won't even really need the safety pin. Or you can also use a sewing needle or something along those lines, just something sharp. And then the backing, you might want to take like an eraser on the back of the pencil and kind of push it in so it won't hurt your fingers. And the first row is the hardest because you have to line them up correctly, but the next few rows are much easier because you've already seen how the other ones are placed. So that's pretty much it. You're just going to kind of repeat this and um, you guys can do any kind of design. You can do any amount of studs. I did four, three, and two. And also I recommend if you guys want to use the bigger studs, that if you guys want to have um, three rows of studs, I mean four rows, sorry. If you guys want to have four rows of studs, I would definitely recommend starting to the very end of the very first row, if that makes sense. I kind of left a little bit of room, but I wish I moved over a little bit. Um, yeah, so this is really, really easy to do, and I can also do a tutorial on how to use like the smaller studs, the more typical size. This is definitely um, some bigger studs. So yeah, I also got my studs from Etsy.com, and if I can find the lister, I will put it in the bottom bar. But you guys can honestly find them anywhere on Google. 